So, I literally just watched a walkthrough because I wasn't sure what the fuck I was doing wrong. Oh, I just got the Glock, apparently. I am kind of salty about this. Because I knew one of two things was going to happen. I was going to look up the answer. And I was going to be like, oh shit, I'm salty. Because it's not obvious. Or I'm salty because it's obvious and I'm stupid. So even though the elevator is like fucked and there's mentions of the elevator being fucked, this one's just fine. In addition to this, fucking bathtub in addition to this there's also no reason that you would click on that one after already not clicking on the other one however I will say the elevator that I went into was lit up and light is usually a way to guide the player it's just a poor implementation I like how there's a plug in that bathtub that doesn't connect to anything this is a good one very nice to kill. Easy to kill with my life. Like to cut food. My secret note number four. Uh, so fucking salty. Up oh. in here says someone. The hallway is blocked. I can't get past. This is it. I feel very welcome here. Come and harm me. I would later regret that request. Hey, everyone. Remember that this game's about Suicide? So, I don't know if anyone else has played um, Silent Hill 2. But at one point in Silent Hill 2, you reach about, like, elbow deep into a toilet to grab, I think it's a key or something that James thinks he sees in there. I wouldn't risk it. Also, doesn't the elevator work? <laughs> Sorry, I just laughed in the microphone. Alright. Oh, Christ, you can see that I... Oh no, everyone's gonna see. Everyone's gonna see that I took a three hour break. <laughs> you got the rope. <sighs> I had, um, some pills. And in case the pills weren't enough, he also slashed his throat, I guess? Why is there... Because this one I get. Why is there this one? Okay. I'm just looking for something that I can fucking mash E on. What the? Someone's blocked the door. Pause. This guy has a lot of one kind of lamp, I notice. Oh my god. You can get your head like stuck under this. Yeah, you can look. Normally I would stand back up, and if I just walk, I automatically stand up. Because normally you just go down and go right back up. But you can get your head stuck under this thing. Oh, that's real funny. Okay. Maybe I need more items. I was looking like 
just tie off the rope like, you know, a normal person would. Enough rope to climb down the balcony. Oh, do I have to use it? Great. Uh, oh, right. I need to reload the gun. Try to shoot with an empty gun. You know what? That sucked. Why not just load that fucking game? There. Now it's like nothing happened. In fact, what if I just edited that all out and no one ever saw? All right. Door stuck. Let's see what else we got in here. Two saucepans on the table. Identical saucepans. And there's a fridge right there, and yeah, they have their Coke right out all over the sink. And there's one on the table. Why four, I wonder? They weren't here before. That's not where a question mark goes. All right, we're back to secret note number one. Heard some people be calling this game a masterpiece. I think they're fucking high. This game is not a masterpiece. It's not bad. But there's only so much that I can say about it in its defense. <laughs> Atari, are they allowed to use that? I guess that's why that this game is free. Saving progress. Maybe I'm in like a corporate town. Fantastic. <sighs> I hope everyone appreciated that. That like big wiggly, oh, oh God. That big wiggling twitch of my mouse. That was one of the only times I've ever gotten jump scared. It's very uncommon. I love how they've just clearly been just like put here. Big bloody door. Very welcoming. Door won't budge. So I'm not sure if that's my computer overheating or if there's just an ominous noise in the... That's funny.
normally you would have to lo like go through a loading screen to to go through this door. But she just broke the door open. That's actually rather clever. It uh it, it forces you to subvert expectation. Oh. Good old gold source. Oh yeah, I just need to do that every time. And here's room O creepy. Okay. okay. I think this should be the stairwell. Michael Myers? That really just does look like the protagonist of the Halloween movies. By the way, it's such bullshit that they call those movies the Halloween, like Halloween movies. Like, yeah, they take place on Halloween and they are ostensibly scary, but there's so many other movies that I would be like, this is a movie that should have been called Halloween. Let's uh, retrace my steps up. Because I want to see if anything's changed up here. Chained up. Is this what life in Sweden is like? Already read that note. Okay, so now I'm just looking for... Well, all right. And then I needed to get back onto the main path. You know, maybe this is just me. But a good horror game can scare you without the use of darkness. And at some point, darkness becomes an annoyance. I didn't even see this guy. Was there even a guy here? Of course, the idea of this like big blackout basement is interesting. The fact that it's flooded is cool as well. That's interesting. There's broken glass over the floor. All right. So yes, while we're here, I did take a three hour break to play ODST and to go eat spaghetti. Um, as you can tell by the date of recording, uh, ODST came out a week ago. Oh, hello, ma'am. <laughs> Tap mouse one to resist the suicidal influence. <laughs> okay, hold on. No, hold on. Okay, that's... <laughs> Suicide isn't funny, but... Like, mash the button so you don't fucking kill yourself. Like, it's a little odd, you know? Oh, wait. Ooh, yeah. there you go. The tone is a little strange. Oh, she's gone. <laughs> oh, this fucking game, man. So now, yeah, uh, that enemy makes you kill yourself. Nice and friendly, you know? Clack clack. See, this is this is real annoying. Oh, excuse me, madam.
Yeah, the annoying part is that... <laughs> the thump sound sounds like a, uh, like a fucking Simpsons, like, uh, uh, sound clip. Or that sound clip they keep using in, uh, um, Grown Ups. Knock you out and drag you off the road. Steal the shoes right off your feet. In the highway. Ah. I feel very welcome here. Back to one handing this thing. So, yeah, just, um. Big old nooses. One of my favorite scenes in the uh, John Carpenter's The Thing, by the way, is I'm mentioning this because I also read The Thing, or The Things, uh, earlier this month. Go watch it for Spook Month. Um, there's a scene where um, one character has tied a noose and, and just kind of hung it up. And no one comments on it. That he just has a noose with him. And it's it's just such a it's such a good piece of suspense. Door stuck. Door won't budge. Great. So I guess this is just a little hallway for this child for this child to exist in. Okay. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, I want to save my game. Glad, glad. All right, I've got a videotape now. So I guess I just backtrack again. Oh, the stairs look weird, but they actually go the other way. That makes sense. I enjoy the sound of Simon's converse, I imagine. Oh, t fucking stubbed my toe. Just like wet slapping against this thing. Uh, yeah, I've got, um, I've got a bunch of Over the Garden Wall songs stuck in my head. Since, you know, it's, uh, autumn now, as you can see by the record date. So, uh, the fam recently rewatched Over the Garden Wall. And I watched it for the first time, for I had never seen it. I'm getting lost in here, aren't I? This fucking game. They were like, by the way, I hope you remembered to fucking write down where a video player was. Because otherwise, you're gonna be shit out of luck, kiddo. <sighs> Blood door? Leads back to here. Oh boy. I love getting lost in this shitty apartment building. You know, I don't think I've ever lived in an apartment building. I've lived in apartments. Is this it? Just a computer. But in every like apartment I've lived in, it's been one where it like connects to the outdoors. Like you go out your front door and it doesn't enter, uh, it doesn't exit rather into a hallway.
Oh god, yeah, I'm still trying to open this fucking thing. Actually, let me find a fucking save point because I just realized that I need to feed my cats. Oh, shit, they're gonna start yelling at me. Normally they have an automatic feeder, but um, because it's fall, a lot of uh, insects are attempting to come inside. And their feeder's next to the window so they can watch birds while they eat. Oh, Jesus. What? Oh, I guess that was the right thing? Okay, so it should be at the bottom of this. Anyway, because ants are coming inside, we had a small... I guess all ant invasions are small, but a small ant invasion. Yeah, as you do. Is this the... God, I get so disoriented in here. Wait, maybe it's here. See, it's like riding a horse through jello. It's such a wonderful noise. How could anyone hate that noise? Just. Sounds like a dog drinking from like a. Those big buckets. Stub my toe. There we go. It's so dim in here. And because the sun is now coming up, I'm having a lot of difficulty seeing shit. Okay. Alright, I'm gonna go feed my cats and I'll be right back. All right, turns out I'm a dumbass and I sprinted by it several times. But you know. I, I'm not, I'm kind of torn. Because on the one hand, this game is kind of obnoxious to play sometimes. But it does feel rather classic. Because sometimes, uh, even like the really good Silent Hills are like, okay, where the fuck do I go? <sighs> Stub my toe. Look, it's got this little outcropping on the wall specifically for stubbing toes. Where's that thing? Wait, is it this one? There's a TV. I wonder if I'll be jump scared because I'm going to the uh, primary objective. Oh my god, I was so close to it and I walked away. I like how a tape and a handgun are in my pockets. But a knife and a morphine syringe and a cell phone are in my bag. Anybody? Warning shot. Hey, it's the weird creepy guy who was leaving notes about killing kids and also maybe molesting them? He was the guy who killed himself. And he also killed this other guy. <laughs> With hedge trimmers. Dude, I doubt that hedge trimmers are sharp enough to take off that guy's head like that. Six. Seven, four, nine. Now I'll drag this away for my special purposes.
Escape the apartments with the elevator. Okay. Well, I've just done an objective, one that triggered a cutscene, no less, so I imagine that... Now would be a good time for them to change stuff on me. Trigger the spawning of enemies. Hell yeah. Wow. Wow, this is nice and comforting. Why don't we coke up? <laughs> oh, yeah. Top off. So this is very, for those who are or aren't familiar, um, this is very familiar of the Silent Hills other world. Where sometimes you just get sucked into an even worse version of the shitty place you're already in. And Silent Hill was very obviously a big influence for this game. See, I like this. I like that they're like, no, you're going to go this way, okay? I can't carry any more Glock ammo. It's impossible. So also, if you reload with uh, bullets left in the chamber, you actually lose those bullets forever. Which is a mechanic I've never liked. I know it's not realistic. That said, I think it works a little better for a survival horror game than it does for uh, a game like Crisis, for example. Though again, Crisis is doing it for the sake of realism. So what do I know? God, it's just so dark. Okay. Boo. Boo. I'm really just waiting on a jump scare. It's been a while. Oh yeah. What's that? Is that stock chainsaw noise? Dot <laughs> wav? Simon gets out of this guy's way with almost no urgency. And that he doesn't really saw the, the pipe in half. He more pushes it with a chainsaw. And then it just kind of falls out of the way. I'm trying to save my ammo there. Really inspired name for this fella as well. Oh, he saws things? Well, that's the name right there, guys. He's a sawer. So I noticed that this health bar doesn't seem to be going down. Oh, is it that thing? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. So, those with uh, discerning gazes can also notice the Resident Evil 4 influence here. Just fucking fall over the back. There we go. So, I was just being a dumbass. Sorry. Cock and block. Oh, that 
that's cool. Maybe I'll do this, yeah. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> well, you got me. Cut my head off now. Hey, that's another decapitation. So normally in Silent Hill, if you get it, oh, he pukes too. In Silent Hill, when you get a boss monster like that, it's usually like a very obvious, like, ooh. Like, let's just say, like, as for example, were this a Silent Hill game, and this apartment complex was about the weird, creepy guy who killed kids here, then uh, the boss at the end of it would be a weird, creepy guy boss that killed kids. Like, um, a really good example is when you fall into another person's Silent Hill in Silent Hill 2. Who's that? Relax. I am not one of them. Who are you, then? You fight a boss relevant to her. What? You shouldn't be here. It's very dangerous. Wait. Why are you wearing a gas mask? Are you stupid or something? Whatever black I'll tell you to one of them. I can't trust you. I don't know if you're real. Just leave me alone. It's kind of silly sometimes. Who is that doctor? All right. I guess that'll do it for the episode. Um, sick apartments completed. Now it's the Jap. Basements. Well, um, boy, that sure was a video game. Uh, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next time. Uh, this has been Cry of Fear. Thanks for coming by to hang out. <laughs>